This Christmas, New Year, Sankranti, Ziva Fertility offers you a 30% discount on IVF packages. To know more about this, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen or visit your nearest Ziva Fertility Center. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Can sperms also be a contributor for abnormalities in embryos? Well, there are a lot of studies which say they do and studies which say they don't. But let's look at some recent studies which were published in American Society of Reproductive Medicine. This was a conference which was conducted last year and they have looked at various factors in semen analysis reports to see if the aneuploidy which resulted from such kind of a sample or the chromosomal abnormality which resulted in the embryo of such kind of a sample was originally from the mother or the father. We'll start from the basics. The eggs are a major contributor of chromosomal abnormality. Various studies are there which reveal that with the advanced stage, the number of oocytes with chromosomal abnormalities are high as up to 75% of chromosomal abnormalities in embryos are contributed by the eggs. It's not just the age, but it could be a lot of other factors which also contribute to this chromosomal abnormality. About 8% factors have been seen from the male sperms. It could be low count, low motility or morphology, but the number is only 8%. This is very astounding because initially we thought that the problem could be both ways. However, studies are saying this and of course we have to keep in mind that more studies are required, more larger studies, more multiracial studies are required because these studies were done on the American population. We need to look at Indian population, European population various populations have to be studied to finally conclude whether perms are contributing or not to chromosomal abnormalities present in sperms. It's very important to note however the DNA fragmentation index if is very high in sperms it can be a major contributor to chromosomal abnormalities. So a lot of further research is required to understand this but it is very safe to say now that 50% of infertility results from male and 50% results from female. With age, definitely eggs are a contributor, but males with their poor sperm morphology and low motility also could result in a bad result for any treatment. Please feel free to contact us if you want to understand more about this. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.